How are you doing today? I'm very good, Julian. How are you? I'm great. Um, your character, Maya, has this tremendous personal journey, mm. you know, spearheading this team to, to find Osama bin Laden over 10 years. A remarkable woman. Can you talk about, A, if you met her in person, and B, what, what you found most interesting about playing her? Uh, Maya is a real person. She's undercover CIA, currently working, so I never met her. Um, the most important thing is that we keep her identity a secret because uh, she's so good at her job, it would just be a very bad thing if she wasn't able to do it anymore. But in order to play her, I was really lucky with working with Mark Bull, who started his career as an investigative journalist. I learned a lot of information through him. I read a lot of books, and then I also did speak to some people um, and learn some information about her. Mo every, every choice I made in regards to the character was based on who I believe this woman is. Brilliant. Um, your character is kind of a neophyte, you know, when she's brought in to see these enhanced interrogation yeah. techniques. And I mean, it's fascinating to see in like, you know, a Hollywood film. Can you talk about filming those scenes and how difficult those were? It was really tough to film those scenes. I mean, to be honest, making this movie was the hardest I've ever done. We were filming in another part of the world, Jordan and in India, that wasn't the most welcoming, especially if you're a woman, that, you know, you don't feel incredibly protected and valued there, um, as you do in, in the United States. Uh, but those scenes in particular we filmed in an active Jordanian prison, which already is like, the environment of that is not great. I'm playing a woman who was trained to be unemotional and analytically precise. I'm not at all. I'm like a crazy artist who's very emotional and not precise, you know. I, it, it was a lot of me I, I did take one break one day when filming that week where I just had to like go and have a cry. Like walk into the field and just cry for a second and then come back and do it. But the wonderful thing about Catherine Bigelow and, and Mark Bull is we're, we're, this is a movie about a historical event. So it was very important that they portray it as accurately as possible. And that includes um, showing those intense interrogations. That's correct. Um, I think, you know, most people know the ending, but the film really talks about, you know, all the little itty bitty pieces that added up to it. You know, as someone who came to it, you know, just from an acting point of view, what's the most surprising thing about the script that you didn't know? Maya. Maya is the most surprising thing, that there was this woman who everyone dismissed as a girl, a young girl, that they didn't really take her seriously, uh, that found this lead and stayed on it for 10 years, sacrificed all personal life, became a servant to her work, and actually kind of lost herself along the way. Um, I was really moved by this woman's story. I mean, a lot of the times when, when we see female lead characters in movies, they're always defined by men, whether it's a love relationship or they're a victim of a man, and Maya's not. She's a real woman who is not a victim. She's not, she wasn't protected or mentored by men. She's not trembling. She's a hero, but doesn't have a neuroses or an issue, like a mental problem. She's just capable, strong, and she can stand on her own. And to be able to portray that in a movie, which is one of the first times a woman has really been portrayed like that, is a great honor for me. And to work with Catherine Bigelow on something like that is a great honor. 